Hey guys, it's Carlos from the Texan Talking Podcast, and we are here with a post-game reaction uh, off of the Texans versus Jaguars game uh, that just happened. So uh, I'm here joined by Poppy. Let him know what's up, Poppy. Aquí tú sabes, chamo, trabajando, ¿qué más? That's right, he just showed up. And then we yeah. have Rios. Let him know what's up, Rios. Who is that guy? I haven't seen him in a few months. Who is he? Yeah, I know, no, man, I know. Work has been crazy to say the least. You have a job? <laughs> uh, is, yeah. Is yeah. he frozen? Is he frozen in that screen? Yeah, one second. It, I don't know why it kicked me out. <laughs> no, no, Am no, I no. back? Am I back? Am I back? Yeah, you're yeah. back. You I'm should back. have just left it that way. That would have been funny. Unfortunately. Uh, now he, 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 reminded, he reminded himself that he's not part of this and he just like it just bolted out. <laughs> he said, yeah, no, I've been, I know I've been absent, but uh, hopefully um, moving forward, we can do know. well. I was on a business trip know. this past week, so that didn't help. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You were, uh, we got some pretty good replacements there for you. We got full see my head. They were I know I missed it. I missed it, man. I missed it. <laughs> You, you had, like uh, to talk, well, hopefully, hopefully you, know. you guys didn't mess it up so much that they'll they'll come back on again. No, no, they'll be back. Uh, we got Tyler Boardman, uh, uh, the minor league pitcher, and he he did pretty good too. I know. I listened. I listened to that some. one. That I would have loved to have been on that one. That would yeah. Been so they, that was a good one. That so I'm telling you, man, we got replacements, <laughs> even for me, even for us. You know. No, hey, uh, I'm irreplaceable. <laughs> I was on ESPN. You guys are on waivers. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're right. waivers. Right. We're waivers. Right. Okay. We're um, waivers. We're free agents. Okay. So, so, right, just, so just so there's a little bit of context. I did not watch the game today, uh, because I was at work. Spoiler, and I'm, 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 wa- I'm watching the I'm watching the highlights right now. I just saw the interception on the um uh, by the Texans. Mm-hmm. Uh, so far, that's been like the only decent football that I've seen from these highlights. They, they, they're horrible. It doesn't get much better. This is on the level no. of the Broncos and the Colts game. It was if you had to be a fan of these two teams to watch that garbage, because man, it was hard to watch. Well, Jackson, so Jacksonville bad. has looked decent until this, this season so far. They played pretty bad. So you can either you can make the argument that either they played uh pretty bad or our defense is actually pretty good. I'm gonna go with Which our defense. you want to go with. I'm gonna go with the defense. Yeah, me too. Stepped up. Yeah. Their, their biggest thing was stopping the run. They stopped the run this week. Um, not as as well as I would have liked. Yeah. You know, Rob and, and it's in, it's got a few good runs off. But for the most part, they yeah. shut the game and they forced. Sorry, Trevor Lawrence Sorry to make uh, I will apologize. I will apologize if you hear my dogs in the background. They see squirrels all the time and uh, they think they're going to stop them. So I apologize. Repeat that again, Rios. No, I was saying like uh, I would have preferred that uh, they, they did a better job on um, – on Robinson and Etienne, but they stepped up this week. Yeah, Even yeah. Our, our best, you know, rushers are in their thirties, and our defensive line is not, you know, it's not really NFL starting level. But they did a good job. Um, no sacks, though. That's the one thing that that is the one takeaway that I think that they need to address in the draft. We're going to have two top, probably two top five picks. One, I think we still need to go quarterback. People want to say, "Oh, you know, wait till next." Definitely. No, definitely, we need we need yeah, quarterbacks. I'm like. Ewers has had two good games in his entire college career. Stroud and Bryce Young have, you know, years of good film. Like, come on, I'm not waiting a year for a guy from UT just because he looks like a quarterback. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And second, you got to go for an edge rusher. That would be probably the same. That would, that's yeah. something I use the Browns pick on because it's also probably going to be top 10, most likely, you know, um, ideal world top five pick. But we'll see. But those yeah, are two uh, yes, I think. Yeah, no, understandable. I, I I still think we should go for a quarterback. Uh, we we talked about it on the pregame show that, um, that just that you know how you fit, how you supposed to build a house around the quarterback that you have. But to be honest with you, when the quarterback around you doesn't have isn't up to par with how the house should be built, yeah. then there's no point of that because you're because I think he's got pieces. Come on, we saw a breakout game from Nico Collins today. Yeah. Nico made- Collins showed exa- He made some really good catches. Uh, yes, he had four receptions at 65 yards. That's what he had today. But uh, he bailed out a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of those mills throws today that weren't so you know, on point. Yeah, or under throws or overthrows. Uh, and 
he built him out a bit. So today I, I got I did get to see a little bit more of a Davis Mills um Nico Collins connection, which is something that I've been wanting to see since wanted to see since the beginning of this season. Because again, my my thing was I wanted to see um Nico Collins just like ball out this year or step up i'm starting to see it these last couple of games have been you know we've seen sightings of nico collins uh, especially today nico collins was like a main target today for receiver as a receiver um i haven't seen much i mean i've seen here and there a, a couple of a few throws to um uh, brandon cooks but not a not like you know you're used to seeing um uh today i think did he have any receptions today yeah, uh, he had a couple. brandon cooks he had a couple, right? Not too, Nothing not too perfect. much. I think he, yeah, he he had four receptions for like twenty yards. That was it. And as long as was of like seven yards. That's that. That was it. Um, but that that's that's what I saw. Uh, I will say this: Davis Mills had sixteen. It was sixteen to twenty-four today. One hundred and forty oh, yards. Um, yeah, one hundred and forty yards. You know, uh, no touchdowns. But no interceptions. So it was like you said, a ugly game, kind of, kind of like the Broncos and uh, Colts game that happened this past Thursday. Oh, that one was bad too. That one I watched the whole, that one was all of bad. it, and I, 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 yeah. I wasted three hours of my life just watching that. You it was game bad football. It was I watched it like because you know it was football, and I had I needed something to watch. Uh, I get it. I just I just wouldn't have wasted time for that. I would have just like. I get like, it. And you and I were, yeah, the, I was like, you know. I kept thinking, I kept thinking, there's no way none of these offenses is gonna, like, one of these offenses has to wake up at some point, and yeah. at no point did that happen. And and watching these highlights, that's what it seems like it happened today. Uh, like I yeah. saw the Pierce touchdown. That man is a beast. I, I would say that's the one yes. silver lining from this Texan team that keeps, you know, just showing me mm -hmm. how how right we were with our expectations this year but yeah. um yeah. but i'm looking at the defense uh like you said like we, we look like we stopped the run but we, we kind of struggle with the passing uh you know trevor lawrence is not top 10 quarterback right now but he looks to be in the up, up and up so i'm, yeah. I'm glad yeah. i'm glad that we managed to you know at least hold them a little bit but i still want to see more from the defense uh, moving forward, even though that's been like our only good thing, um, yeah, uh, so far this season. But Pierce, man, that man is a beast. Like, I think, yeah, he's gonna be great. And going back to the little analogy that you mentioned, Carlos, uh, mm -hmm. you know, building building this house around the quarterback, it's like it's kind of like spending money on like a 2003 Honda, you know, like you don't want to keep throwing money at it. As something that that's not working anymore, something that's like you know we need a replacement, and kind of like leaning into what uh, Rio said, like we gotta go for a quarterback this year in the draft, uh, even if it's you know maybe not one of the top two guys if we don't get one of those top picks, like we gotta find something else because Jacksonville was one of the games where we where we mentioned at the beginning of the season like oh this is a game that we're gonna win and yes we did win this one but with this kind of football man with this kind of offense that we got uh, it's not something i want to keep watching as a fan personally no it's not sustainable it's not <laughs> one I, of the people i like the, the uh, uh brandon scott he had put you know um this is probably the formula we need to win and i, I you know tweeted back to him like so the formula is you know you know feeding peers minimizing middle throws and the defense forcing turnovers. I mean, that's not sustainable for, for the future. Like it, you could probably get maybe one or two more wins out of that formula. Like at the end of the day, you're gonna need a quarterback that's gonna win your game. And uh, Mills ain't gonna do it. Games and also we need a we need to really, really start getting first downs. Today alone, Houston only had 15 first downs. Jacksonville had 22. Wow. Bad as they played, it's had 22 first downs. <laughs> yeah. Now, again, we did get the win. Correct. We did get the win, but at the same time, it's like, we how many third and outs did we see? That was the biggest problem that one of the biggest issues that we have is there's so many third and outs, third and outs, third and outs. Uh, I even mentioned, let's play a drinking game, see how many, uh, every time uh, the Texans go for a three and out. 
how that well, what's going to happen, you know? And right. it's like, Rios already got <laughs> Rios has already got started, uh, <laughs> and so and so that's that's what I'm thinking. It's just like those three and outs have to. We have to start. You have to keep keep the play going. I mean, the drive going. Keep keep going. Um, the last, uh, I think the the last drive, one of the last the, the scoring drive that was going on for a while. I even told you when we were. Uh, we were talking, I was like, you know what? This is what they need because by the fourth quarter, the defense is extremely gassed. Oh. They just need to keep continuing those, uh, those uh, how do you call it, those, that drive and keep going and keep converting on first, to keep converting to first down. And that, that's that been another issue also. I mean, there is, it's a plethora of issues that the Texans have right now. But uh, if you can start adjusting and doing better at those, you'll be fine. Now, they started again. They started fixing some of those issues uh, towards the end, and again, you know, they were able to score the touchdown with Damian Pierce. Uh, I agree 100 percent with what you said right now, Poppy. Damian Pierce is a guy that we had high expectations for him, and he's paying off. You know, uh, as long as we guys we keep feeding uh, the ball to Damian Pierce, this kid is going to be great. He's going to be. I mean, dude, we saw shades of beast mode today breaking those tackles. Like dude, he was breaking was tackles incredible. left and right, man. Especially yeah, in the 20s, that was, just multiple. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Baby O. Campbell, if you want to call him. You know, it's it's going to be, it's he's definitely going to be something to watch. Now, uh, it's going to sound a little contradictory, but at the same time, you also have to watch him because a lot of those he can't as even as a running back. I know he's young. He's still those 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 yeah. hits are going to take a toll. Yeah, on you, you don't want to you don't want to put the, uh, too many miles on him, right? That's right. the thing. You know, Especially in a lost season. Exactly. Yeah. Especially I mean, on a season exactly. where, where it doesn't matter. But it's good to see so, it's, it's good to see the progress and it's good to see some of these like uh young players adapting mm. to the to the NFL, like the league, like uh, as as much as they have so far. This is yeah, Stingley with his first interception. I thought that was amazing. So there's that. That's paying off. He had a clutch uh I think towards the end, uh, it was like the last drive. He had a clutch. Uh, a clutch. Uh, I think he like missed. He, he redirected the ball with just by touching it towards the end. It was supposed to be like one of those throws that Trevor Lawrence was supposed to make uh, when he was trying to get that hail mary. Um, and so he, uh, you know, he deflected the ball uh, as he should have, and he he was he came in clutch. He, you know, he got his first interception. I was happy about that. Uh, these guys, the, remember these young rookies that we were talking about at the beginning of the season are finally paying off. You got Stingley with his first interception, deflecting the balls, uh, and you know, and just doing what he's doing. Then you got Petrie as well. We didn't see much of Petrie today. As a, he had a, quiet, as a, he had a game. yeah, he had a quiet game, but I mean, doesn't mean he still wasn't balling out. So those guys that we have talked to, and then Green has also been pretty good, also uh, in the O line. So I think those guys, uh, that's the brightest spot. You know the, the 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 rookies. That's the biggest bright spot for the Texans, and that right there is your house. Those are the that's the house you got to build around. That's because that's why you need a new quarterback because those are the guys that you need to build around, not the opposite way around. Does yeah, that make sense? Young. Yeah, they're young during the rookie contracts. Like this is the time that you, if you if you, if you, the guy if you see your guy in the draft, you go for. Don't wait till you know twenty twenty four and maybe you get somebody else. Nah, like, we played this game before where they took Mario Williams, number one, over Vince Young. Like, you saw how that panned out. They were trash for, what, five, six years, and then Mario was left. Like... Yeah, but then, like, if you think about it, how, how what ended up happening with Vince Young, though? I mean, look where he went, though. Tennessee with Jeff Fisher. At the end of the day, yeah. it comes down to environment and coaching, and I think he would have thrived under Kubiak. You think you think Vince Young would have thrived on the Kubiak? Yeah. Okay. Because he would have. Because uh, uh, Kubiak's a quarterback's coach. He would have played to his quarterback strengths, like he did with Matt Schaub. He wasn't forcing yeah. Matt Schaub to make those he couldn't make. He designed his entire <laughs> playbook to you know make Schaub look good, and he would probably do yeah. the same for Young. Bootleg, bootleg, seven and nine. It was bootleg every <laughs> other play. Remember that bootleg Foster, bootleg Foster, bootleg Foster. Oh, All bootleg right. Owen That's Daniels. A, bootleg Owen Daniels. So, Sorry, so like, I would I would ask you about this, but I forgot you were like five years old. I'm like, I yeah, I, th I think I think I was negative two when that happened. Um, <laughs> let me ask you guys this. Concept. <laughs> let, let me ask you guys this. I know I know it was ugly football, and at the end of the day, um, as fans, we want to see good product on the field. But uh, regardless of that, are you guys happy with the win 
or do you just do, are, you, are we just on the on the camp of where let's let's just keep losing and get that top pick? My thing is yeah, this: wins like, wins. As, as a fan, like before, I would like a win, I was looking forward to a win, and you know that that would make my whole week. Now it's just just so jaded at this point. And the way I look at it is it's, it's a win, but it was an ugly win. It didn't really. So it's a win that means nothing, right? Like, it's, like this win is not making us better. This win is not making us no. contenders, and it's not making no, us if, like. Now, if Mills would have had like you know six touchdown passes and you know had put on the masterclass performance, you know maybe I feel better about the win. But it was an ugly win that you relied on your rookie running back and your you know young secondary to win the game for you. It's it basically we're back to square one. Like we need a quarterback, we need some edge rushers. Like we we saw we answered no questions. The way I look at it. Yeah, uh-huh. it, we, got a, we, it got a, a, we got a long season, man. We got a long season ahead of us. We do, you know, we do, and it's it's it is it, it is an ugly win. Uh, I always, you know, I'm always down for wins myself, but this one was an ugly win, especially how we're starting the season. Uh, I, I know it feels weird to say, you know, let's try to keep. At this point, might as well tank to get the a pretty. That's good what spot. I'm saying, right? At this point, let's tank. I mean, at this point, but. I'll tell. I mean, a win's a win. Uh, I, I don't. I really don't think Davis Mills is going to be the guy that's going to certainly just like ball out for the next, you know, a few games after the bye week. Like, you know, it's not going to be one of those things. Like, you know what? He should make us to the bye week. He's like, you know what? They thought about. It. I'm going to ball out, and then he does. Well, it'd be great, uh, but the, we, we realistically it'll speaking, be, it'll you know, be wild if he it'll does. Be, it'll be it'll be wild if he did that. It's like that meme I sent you guys, uh, the picture of, you know, <laughs> like when uh, Zach Wilson, you know, this day he has a dog in him. Yeah. <laughs> Bulls, Rottweilers, Davis Mills, his dog is, you know, cowardly courage. Her, uh, uh, Curtis, Curtis the cowardly dog. dog. Yeah, there you go. There. Yeah. <laughs> Mills. Go lay down, bro. Go lay down. Go lay down. Yeah, man. It, it, yeah. It, I don't know, man. I, I'm just like, I was so excited for football to be back, but. As a Texas oh, fan, so I'm, I almost want the season to be like I, I'm looking forward. I'm more so looking forward to the off season with yeah. the draft mm-hmm. and everything than I am to, you know, next week's game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's uh. I mean, that's I think that's the reason why we all play fantasy. Whenever your team isn't doing so good, at least you can watch the other games and feel better. My about fantasy, team. my my fantasy ain't doing so hot either, man. Yeah, it's really not. So, uh, Oh, both of y'all, did y'all both, both are y'all both losing this this week or what? Uh, so uh, far, so far, I'm ninety one percent to win, but so was so was I last week, and I ended up losing. Because hmm. uh, my my top picks weren't doing me any favors. So what's yeah? So what's your uh, what's your record right now, Papi? Right now I'm one and three. So if I win this week, I'll be two and three. Okay, what about you, Rios? Um, three and one right now. Even if I lose, I still stay in second place just because of uh, points Hold scored. On. I'm the leading scorer in the league, but this week, uh, not so hot. Not dead yet. I got a 25% chance to win. 25 is not zero, so I will take it. <laughs> hey, you got to take what you can, man. Yeah. That's, that's what he says with the ladies, too. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> about the 25% <laughs> chance. About the 25% chance. Anyway, so uh, he's pretty, pretty – yeah. So now – um basically i am at i'm on two and two right now in my fantasy i, sh- I should have project- been two and two man i should have been two yeah. and two <laughs> i'm project i'm projected to win so after after let me see after i'm trying to see if there's any games that any of my players play on some on monday and neither is my opponent yeah so after today basically uh he's got joe burrow uh She's got Joe Burrow on that still needs to play, and I have Higgins on mine that still needs to play. So that's it. So basically, I'm projected to get 127 points. <laughs> uh, and she's supposed to get 86 points. So I'm, it's it's pretty much a beating right now. Uh, and I will be three and two on by Monday night. So there's that. I'm hoping Tuesday I'm- morning I'll be three and two. No. Yeah. No. All my players, I believe, play today. So. So, yeah. So like any Burrow and Higgins to have the game of their lives. Me too. I'll because take Burrow it, any day. It's it's really killing me. He's what? been he's been more solid this past few weeks. Um, but my opponent's got my homes, and you you already know. Mm. He's gonna give you, you know, tw- twenty five points easy. 
Well, it, it also depends because we, we were talking about it with full steam ahead, and it's a divisional game. Uh, they're playing against the, the Raiders now. The Raiders, yeah. Number one, now I already know how you feel about the Raiders. You don't have to say it. They suck. They, they, they <laughs> suck so hard. <laughs> they do. <laughs> But so did we, and we ended up, you know, putting a little, you know, putting a little damper on the on the Jaguars' little parade there. So because it's a divisional game, so you talk about the Jaguars, not Kansas City, bro. No, I understand that, but they were on a little hot streak too. That's what I'm my, saying. My home's and, my home's country. That's right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, no, I, mean, I, I am all for the terrible Colts. So you never yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. That, well, I mean, yeah, that's true. That, that was a bit yeah. of an upset, but. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, it, yeah, so I'm telling you, it might just be one of those games where it might be actually kind of close. Any low given key, Monday, yeah. Low key, the the clutches uh, part of my fantasy this week is that the Indianapolis Colts got me 14 points with that defense. <laughs> <laughs> When I looked at it, I was like, "What? What is that coming? What is happening?" <laughs> It's called Russell Wilson. Yeah, Russell <laughs> yeah. Wilson. Yeah, They let the man cook. Yeah, no, but the fact that the fact that Waddle got me three points and Harris got me five points, I'm like, if I lose, it's because of them too, man. Yeah, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm, we'll see. I'll, I'll let you guys know by, by tonight, <laughs> how I did. <laughs> yeah, I completely right. picked everybody wrong in DraftKings, so that's that's not good. <laughs> oh yeah, no, like so, none of my bets hit this week. None of my no, bets. Me neither. Yeah, no, my neither. We were pretty bad picks today. So, yeah. Uh, nonetheless, anyway. So, we calling it? What well, were? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, okay, okay. It's the, we still have a few minutes. Um, nonetheless, one of the going back to our our game today against the the how do you call it the the Jacksonville Jaguars. You know, you said I like how. By the way, I like how you mentioned the you had the uh, Honda analogy. Yeah. It seems like you spoke. You speak from experience. Did you buy? Did you just recently buy a Honda and try to fix no, it? No, 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 no. <laughs> I would never. I would never. I appreciate it too. Like you know, don't put money to you know Honda. Get a new car. Get a new car, man. Get a new car. That's get, a 20, no, no, no. get a twenty. Get a twenty twenty three. Dude, you're preaching to you're preaching to the crowd. I used to have a like a, a couple of years ago. I used to have a two thousand one Honda Civic. So oh, that's gross. <laughs> that's <laughs> gross. It's, it's, you, remember, it's, you remember that? Remember that? Remember that? Game? Remember that car? Yes. We used to we used yeah. to go out to the uh, to the soccer games. <laughs> his, so his uh, door handle doubled as a uh, be- bottle opener. <laughs> What's uh, <laughs> what happened? Bottle opener. What happened to that vehicle? What happened to that car? So I ended up buying it. I think. Okay. So I used to have a Ford Explorer. A black Ford Explorer, and and uh, it just you know it was my dad's. It was it was already older, right? So I was okay. It's time to get a car. Uh, obviously, at, at the time, I really couldn't really afford it. Afford a new car, so I was like, sent for a different car. And I ended up my my neighbor at my old apartment complex, like had a, a black Honda Civic for sale, and I was like, how much? And he's like, oh, it'll be like probably like a thousand bucks. So I was like, yeah, I'm in. It was like, oh, I was like, yeah, of course I'll buy the Civic. It was like. You know, I'll, I'll definitely. I saved so much gas on that car, and uh, except the fact that I have to repair it every three months for yeah, something exactly. New. <laughs> and right. so I, I yeah, and so it, it drove me to college a few times. It drove me to work. I, it it did what I needed it to do. Uh, I think it lasted me. I think it had like 150k miles on it when I first got it, and I ended up. I, when I got the the car that I have now off the dealership, uh, brand new car, I was I was so happy. Um, that car still stayed with me for about maybe a year, and then I sold it uh, to a, a person that really really needed a car. And I mean, I sold it like for like two hundred bucks. I promise it wasn't that cheap, but the person really needed it. So like a two two hundred, I don't so, care. I didn't I didn't care, and I was like, I'll just sell it to you for two for two hundred, and I ended so- up. That's it. That's, and that was that's what we need to do. Part. That's what we need to do. Davis Mills is that Honda. And yeah. after after a year, we need to we need to get rid of it and give it to somebody who really needs it, like the Saints, or the maybe if, if Tua doesn't come back, um, give it to Miami or yeah, or Denver. <laughs> so you know, uh, exactly the Mills Saints country. Could, no, Mills country. That's see, right. Uh, <laughs> didn't Taysom Hill have like? Did, didn't Taysom Hill have like a game, like a ball out game today? Three touchdowns. He was a top five yeah. scoring fantasy. He's starting yeah. in ten of leagues. I'm like, 
I, yeah. I, I wonder why he why yeah. he is, is 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 he the starter? No, he wasn't even the starting quarterback. That's it's, what I mean. That's yeah. what I mean. Like well, they they've been well, they've been playing they've been playing the Saints have been playing with with him like in and out of you know the lineup I guess if you want to call it that for years like every time he he went up there he would do the job so I don't know why they don't just commit to well, him. They, tried, they tried with him as starting quarterback he he's not a great throw of the ball and when they're out there you know he's gonna run it so it makes it pretty easy to defend so they figure okay we need a guy to pass the ball because he can do everything else except throw the ball he's not accurate doesn't have a great arm they should have kept uh Teddy they should have kept Teddy Bridgewater Teddy two gloves <laughs> even though he doesn't pass to freaking waddle like exactly dude like, I don't know what like what kind of beef they got with each other but god damn man <laughs> hmm. well he had an excuse yeah. today he was injured the entire game though so I'll let him slide this time but last week there was no excuse last week there was yeah. no excuse whatsoever no excuse at all all right. Well, now it's about that time. So we will see y'all Wednesday. Hopefully, Poppy can join us on Wednesday. I should I should be able to be there this Wednesday. Uh, is it going to be just a regular podcast? Do we have anybody or no? We have a guest. We have a pretty good guest too, actually. Who is it? Did I did I know? Uh, I haven't been looking at the group chat too much today. Yeah, we know, we know you haven't showed up at the podcast. You haven't showed up on the text. I'm messages. sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. But, yeah. Okay. Waivers, yeah. waivers. <laughs> we actually have yeah waivers. You're on the free. You're you're a free agent now. No, um, yeah, we have a pretty good guest coming up. Uh, I don't know. Should I say it or? I mean, if if it's a yeah, surprise, yeah. don't don't freaking say it. Just tell me after we after we. Uh, no, nah, it's not it too late. <laughs> no, it's not too late. No, of course not. I wish it was. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, can look at buddy, go. Dude, if it was Altuve, I would completely like tell everybody. I would be all over the street saying it was Altuve. That'd be awesome. Now we have a pretty good guest coming up on Wednesday, so I'm looking forward to that. All right. So nonetheless, we'll keep it a surprise, and then we'll okay, announce sure. it Wednesday morning. Like, sure. yeah, let me so let me do no research that? whatsoever. Okay. No. Yeah. Look at your text messages <laughs> in the group chat. <laughs> God damn it! All right. All right. All right, y'all. Well, uh, we'll see y'all Wednesday. Well, we'll record Wednesday. We'll probably release the episode Thursday morning, but whatever. We'll see. All right, then. See y'all later. Uh, Texans country. Let's ride. Let's ride. See y'all later, boys.